In South Texas, Stephen Maffridge is carrying on a family tradition raising Brayford and Brahmin cattle on the Y-Bar Ranch, which was founded in 1883. And as a fourth generation cattle producer, Maffridge sees a bright future in producing beef. I'm optimistic about the beef industry for, you know, simple reason that the supply and demand. I think the U.S. does an a outstanding job of raising a safe, wholesome product. It's a good product and the consumer wants it. Although consumers clearly do want beef, there are still frequent threats to consumer demand in the form of misleading or incorrect information about the health benefits and safety of beef. It's an ongoing threat that Maffridge believes is best met by producers working together through the Beef Checkoff program. I think the Beef Checkoff is a huge plus to the beef industry because it seems like whatever happens in the world today, whatever you're trying to produce, whether you're producing something, raising something, or just building something, there's opposition. For whatever reason, you meet opposition. And we have to have sound science to protect our product. We have to educate the consumer. And without the beef checkoff, there's no funding for that to happen. There are several beef checkoff funded websites and programs that reach consumers every day with facts about beef nutrition and safety and about the way producers care for their cattle and the environment. And for Maffridge, perhaps most important is the effort to monitor and correct false information about beef. Things are already in place that will help the producer and help protect our, our industry. We're raising a sustainable product and we're proud of it. And then when somebody gives an inaccurate comment about it, it's very hard uh, especially when you're down here to do something about it. So knowing that the beef checkoff that's set up with the media outlets that are in place and a whole system in place to disperse anything like that makes it easier at, to sleep at night. On the Y-Bar Ranch in South Texas, I'm Brian Baxter reporting.